Now let's do an exercise on a high cost state machine using QP framework and QP model tool by Quantum Leaps LLC. So the exercise number is 007 and the exercise name is clock alarm. In this exercise, we are going to implement a real time clock using the software. That means we are not using any RTC chip. And the requirements of this project will be you have to show the current time of the day to the user and you should allow the user to do modification to the clock that is clock setting alarm setting alarm notification and uh, you should also show date month year day of the week this i have not implemented you can extend this project later this i'll give you as an assignment and also you should give you the provision to set and modify the date information so the circuit diagram of this project is pretty much similar to the previous one now there will be uh, two buttons on the button pad the first button is b1 which is a multi-functional button which can be used to set and clock set functionalities if you want to execute set functionality then you can use this button and to enter into the clock setting mode you can use this button the second button b2 is also a multifunctional button and this is used for approving that is okay if you have done some setting you have to approve that then you can use this button as okay and this button can also be used to enter into the alarm setting mode here the digital pin 4 of the arduino is connected to the lcd anode of the lcd backlight via this resistor so this is to control the backlight of the lcd those are just two changes in the circuit compared to the previous circuit now let's see the demo of this application so that you get more idea how the application looks like and uh, you will come to know about other requirements of this project let's see the demo now let me give you the demo of this application so now when you see the demo we will understand uh, many things so what are all requirements you have to implement for this application and we are going to solve this application using the hierarchical state machine approach i have reused the earlier circuit and components for this application in the pro timer application we actually used three buttons but in this application you just need two buttons and that is the lcd the connections between lcd and the arduino board are exactly same as before and uh, there is an optional buzzer a potentiometer to set the contrast for the lcd and uh, there are two buttons on the button pad now let me explain the functionalities of these buttons for this exercise the first button is called set or clock set button and the second button is ok slash alarm set button these are multifunctional buttons so i'll explain how to use these buttons in a moment don't worry first of all i have downloaded the application to the arduino board and the application is currently running now let me just reset the arduino board and uh, when you reset the board as you can see here the application is currently showing the current time of the day the current time of the day is presented to the user as you can see here and the display format for the time is r minutes seconds and this is subseconds so this also you must show and also here you must display whether it is a 24 hour format or whether the time is in 12 hour format if it is in 12 hour format you have to show whether it is am or pm and there is also a symbol as you can see here this is the alarm symbol which uh, indicates that the alarm is currently on so what you are seeing here is ticking mode in the ticking mode the application ticks and the current time is presented to the user i call this as a ticking mode now there is also one more mode and that mode is clock set mode suppose if i want to modify this time or if i want to adjust this time or if i want to change the mode of the time or time format then i can do that so i have to go to the clock set mode 
when the application is in ticking mode and if you press this first button that is for set bar clock set then the application moves to clock set mode let me show you that so here you can see that now the application is in clock set mode in which you can change some settings and you can also see that the lcd's cursor is blinking on the first field of the r information this is the first digit of the r this is the second digit of the r like that so digit wise you can enter new values here now it is asking you to modify the r information and you have to use set button if i press the set button you can change it to different values as you can see here let me select two if this is OK, then you have to press OK. The cursor moves to the next digit where you can feed another value if you want. OK. It goes to the next field. So if you don't want to enter anything, just press OK. It goes to the next field like that. Here I enter 51. Now let's say you want to abort everything. So you don't want to set anything. Then you can do that. So to abort this operation, you have to press these two buttons simultaneously. Let me press these two buttons simultaneously. So which aborts that operation and it comes back to the ticking mode. Right. So as you can see here, the clock is not delayed. OK, so the clock will be ticking in the background, maybe using interrupts or timer interrupts or something. So the current time of the day is never disturbed. It will be ticking always at the background, maybe using the timer interrupts. Now, let me again enter to the clock setting mode. I press this, it takes me to the clock set mode, and I enter some values here. Okay, 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 and I enter some value here, and then press okay. And now it asks you to set the mode whether you want. 24 hour format or 12 hour format. I'll go for 12 hour format and then you can press OK. So when you press OK, it actually comes back to the ticking mode. So now the time is modified. It actually took your new setting. Now let me again press the set button. Now it is in the clock set mode. So OK, 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 OK. And now let me change something here and press OK. And now let's say I set it to AM. Now let me press OK. And now it says it's an error. Because the time is in 24 format and you are trying to set that to AM or PM information. That's why this format is wrong. So that's why it says error. When it is in the error mode, you can see that there is no response for this OK button. What you can do is you have to go back and modify this information what you had entered here that's why ok button will not work here and you have to press the set button and when i press the set button it takes me back to the setting and now i have to modify so now let me make this as 24 h and then press ok so now it takes the new setting so that's about the ticking mode and the clock set mode. Now, I think you understand what are all the requirements you have to implement for this application. And now let me explain one more feature of this uh, application that is alarm set mode. That is uh, provision to set the alarm. When the application is in ticking mode, if you press this button, OK bar alarm set, it takes you to the alarm set mode. Now let me press this button. Right. Here you can see that now the application is in alarm set mode. So the first line shows the current alarm. This is the current alarm set by the user. The second line must show the current time of the day. And you can also see that at the second line, the current time is displayed. And in the first line, the cursor is blinking at our field. And these symbols indicate that the application is in alarm set mode. 
now i press again the set button to change this field i set for let's say zero okay eight okay i'll set this for 54 okay and then okay and i change this to pm and then okay and then it is asking me whether i want to turn the alarm off or on so you can use the set button to either turn on the alarm or turn off the alarm i'll go for alarm on okay now the alarm is set for 8:54 pm now let's see whether alarm happens or not it is close to 8:54 right now the alarm happens and when the alarm happens it has to blink alarm message and it can add some other effects now if i press okay it goes back to the ticking mode so now let me show you once again so now the application is in ticking mode and now again i press okay bar alarm set button and here you can see that at the first line it shows the current alarm set that is 8 54 pm now let me set the alarm once again so let me set it for 8 uh, 55 sorry so now if you did something wrong here then you have to abort this here i did some mistake so i wanted to enter something but i moved to the next field i cannot come back now that feature you can provide of course but i have not provided that feature so now i have to abort this I press the two buttons simultaneously to go back to the ticking mode and I can come back to this mode. And uh, as I said, this symbol indicates there is actually an active alarm. So if you want to remove this, then you have to go to the alarm setting and uh, press OK, 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 and make this alarm off. Press OK. So now you can get rid of that symbol now the alarm is off there is no alarm set now let me explain one more requirement what you need to implement that is coming back to the history state so now let me demonstrate that let's say there is an alarm there is an active alarm so i will set the alarm let me abort this let me set for 9 sorry again let's abort Nine, 9 p.m. Alarm on. Okay. So now the alarm is set for, as you can see, if I press this alarm set button, it shows that alarm is set for 9 p.m. Alarm is on. You can see this button indicates that alarm is on. Now I am setting some clock i'm changing some field and while doing this the alarm may trigger right so now the alarm will trigger as you can see now when i'm doing some settings the alarm could trigger i mean alarm can trigger at any time so now you can see that the alarm triggers here now if i press ok it should go back to that setting what you are doing it should not go back to the ticking mode or somewhere else it should come back to your setting this is like coming back to the history state so this was the earlier state and it moved to the alarm display or alarm notification state and uh, when i press ok it came back to the earlier state so this is also one of the requirement of this application that is while you're doing some settings if alarm happens and after the alarm notification it should come back to the previous state so same is applicable while you're doing the alarm setting for example let's say i'm doing some alarm setting here i will change this to 2 10 alarm on so the alarm is set currently 
and that I can see here alarm is set for 9 2 p.m. and I am doing some changes to the alarm as you can see here I'm currently modifying this digit here but alarm triggers let's see alarm triggers you see alarm triggered now if I press OK button it should come back to that field where you were doing some setting let me abort this So these are the requirements I mean you can implement in your own way no problem I mean I have just explained what are the features I have provided so if you think you can provide some better options then you are welcome to do that but for this application implementation we will consider these requirements and we will try to solve this uh, using the hierarchical state machine approach.